Yesterday, Coach Norvell said that you wanted to kick the practice ending kick outside. Um, how come you wanted to do that, and how good are you feeling confidence-wise, you know, coming out of fall camp right now? Um, I think it was a good opportunity just to, you know, no matter the circumstances, still got to execute the job. And it wasn't a great day outside yesterday, so it was a good opportunity just for, you know, Mason have a good snap and and the elements and and Master still getting, still getting the ball down and the wet conditions and so it was good work for us really windy rainy it was, it was good good opportunity how have you felt about your performance throughout throughout camp so far good really good you know hitting the ball well making kicks um, just continue to get better each and every day you know same thing with mason and alex you know we're our mindset is very similar you know every day we're trying to go out and get better so camp's going really good for us so far james did such a good job for you guys how was how was that transition been yeah, James was such a good snapper, I mean, All-American. Um, and Mason coming in last year was an opportunity for him to, to learn behind James. And um, James helped a lot with Mason. And Mason's a heck of a snapper. He's done a really good job so far this you know, spring, winter, spring, summer, and now fall. So just piecing it all together. It's been a yearly process, and it's coming together really well. Yeah, yes, sir. That's accurate. Um, I've gotten a lot stronger in the weight room with Coach Storms, and the the balls are a little bit different this year that we're using. They go a little bit further as well, so it's kind of a culmination of the two. And yeah, I feel feel a lot stronger this year. So, where would you feel comfortable? Um, you know, today I hit from 57, you know, just trying to focus on under 50 because that's where the money is. you got to be automatic inside of 50, but, you know, getting a lot, an opportunity for the longer kicks, you know, practicing that in practice as well. What are some things that Alex does that, like, you admire? Like, oh, that's really cool that, that he could do that at that high of a level. Um, you know, I just think in the punting aspect, I mean, he's the best punter in the country, obviously, and just seeing his growth since he first got here five years ago has been really cool to see. American football and knowing how the flow of a game works and obviously the performance on the field you know the all the certain things he can do on the field you know punt left footed right footed whatever he can do it all and um, and not only the punting aspect but the holding aspect it just goes overlooked so often and the details he's put into that and he's worked for it for five years now and he's I in my opinion the best holder in the country too and that's so important just because of the operation time and being able to get the snap down on the spot the laces out the lean uh, it's a lot of details and he takes great pride in that and that's something for me it helps me it makes my job so much easier That'd be completely new to him. yeah yeah it was completely new to him coming in and it's like I said it has been a, a process a journey but he's every step of the way he's been asking me questions you know how can I get better how can I get better to make my job easier must be a pretty good athlete Alex? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He's he's a great athlete. Yeah, very mobile. Yeah. What have you seen from Jake so far, and what's it been like, kind of taking under your Jake's a great dude. I, he's gonna be so good. He's gonna be so good, and he's really mature for his age too. And uh, you know, he's he's come in with just such a great mindset of of trying to push me, compete, and also asking questions. You know, trying to get as much knowledge as he can. And, I, I look back to my freshman year whenever I had Ricky and the other guys, Roberto, who had already been out, but they helped me so much in, in my journey along the way, too. And for me to finally help Jake go through that, it's pretty cool. And, and you know, I, I just think he's going to be so good. You mentioned the balls seem to fly a little farther than new balls. Can you explain the technology? Uh, it's just a, a little bit, a little bit different ball. That's all. It's just there's a few balls. It's just quarterback preference, and those balls go a little bit further, and I've gotten stronger. So, yeah. You, you, you've been around so long, long, so been around so long now. The antics like Coach Marvell and JP do like to try to ice you. So does that does it even affect you at all? No, it doesn't. But it's uh, I love it though. You know because the, my hardest day on the job is the practice. You know, the elements, the game-winning field goals with everybody around, spraying water, you know, all the chaos. And at the end of the day, we still have to focus. We still have to focus, we still have to focus on our job and get, get the job done. Um, and so Coach Norvell, Coach JP, Coach Barfield, they're always trying to do something to distract me. And, yeah, it's helped a lot. How much you want to go down Really cool. You know, I think I have some Irish set down the line somewhere. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool uh, playing an international game. It's something really special. I'm excited for all of us to get a chance to go there and compete.
you and Alex have gotten a lot of preseason recognition on different watch lists and things like that. Is that something you guys pay attention to at all? Does it mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. I mean, it's a watch list, but you know, the season hasn't been played yet, obviously. So we still got to go out there and do our job.